Hey everyone, it's your friendly gaming aficionado, Moody's here. In today's video, I wanted to do something a bit different that will help you understand how to check CS2's GitHub changes and code changes if you want to check it for yourselves. I bet you saw a lot of videos of people showing you changes in CS2's code and speculating what can come next in future updates. I wanted to check these changes myself and couldn't find a tutorial on how to do that. Now, I want to make it clear that not all changes will be straightforward as you need to either know what was changed exactly or have some experience in this field to fully cipher what's been done. But this video is supposed to get you all the way to the code changes in case you want to view and understand it for yourselves. The first step is to go to Steam Database's GitHub, which I will put in the description below. This is Steam's database where they check in all of their changes. In there, you will see Game Tracking CS2. This will only showcase changes done to CS2's code. Now, if you're not familiar with check-in, let me briefly go over it. When developers are making changes in the code, there are a few steps it goes through before being published. The first thing developers do when working on changes, they first do so on their own computers, testing locally to ensure everything works and more often than not testing it locally to make sure nothing breaks, which is called QA or quality assurance. In the developer's local environment, they work on a branch, which is like a separate copy of the project just for their changes. And when they feel their work is ready, they check in their changes to this branch, confirming that the changes are complete and saved in the branch. After checking in, the developers make a pull request, or PR. This is a request for their branch to be merged into the main branch, which is the central updated version of the code that everyone uses. Before it goes into the main branch, the PR is reviewed by others, ensuring the code is solid and won't disrupt the main project, which is CS2 in this case. Once the pull request is gone through and approved, the change is officially made. Now that you understand most of the terms, we can go into game tracking CS2's Git. Once you're here, you will see all of the folders and files in front of you and also the last time they were changed. On the top right side, you will see a number and the word commits after. In here it says 747 commits, which basically means that they made batches of changes 747 times. Note that these batches are different in size and changes types. If we click on it, it will take us to the commits list or changes list. Now we can see the change list ordered by dates and numbers and also the amount of files changed per commit. Let's pick the one where they added the dtrain retake.txt file. In order to view the code in a way that's easier to understand, make sure to click on the split option on the top right. Now you have two separate panes. The left one is the before and the right one is the after. Every plus you see that is also marked in green is an addition to the code. Every minus you see that is also marked in red is a deduction to the code. If they are on the same line, most likely the line was altered and the highlighted words are the ones that were removed or added. Now don't try to understand everything here. Sometimes you'll actually be able to tell exactly what's going on. For example, if you see comments about charms before they are in the game, then you could probably guess what that means. For instance, if we go down in the file list, you'll see that some are marked in a green plus. A yellow dot means that the file existed and was modified, and a green plus means that the file was added completely. So in this example, you can see that this entire file was added that is called dtrainretake.txt. That could indicate that retake game mode is coming back and that train is part of it. You can see they talk about spawn positions on A site and B site for both CT and T. And you can mainly understand that this change indicates future addition. I can't go over all of the changes because every time this will be something different. The first commit on the list is the latest one. So if you check this regularly or go into SteamDB Discord server, you can get pinged when a new change was made and go check it out yourselves to see if you can cipher what's been changed. I hope you found this video helpful in some way. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, play smart, invest smarter. This is Moonies, signing off.